Hey Math 85 students, uh, now that we have determined what decimals are, converted between fraction and decimal form, and uh, been able to um, simplify expressions involving decimals, let's look at the most common application um, with everybody's favorite decimal, pi. Pi happens to be, for any circle, regardless of how large or small it is, your circle has a center. The distance between the center and any point on the circle here we'll call r for radius. So this length here from the center out to the circle is the radius. If you extend this line segment all the way to the other side, you get what's called here the diameter, the diameter of the circle. It's always twice the radius. All right, and the distance around the circle, usually for, for like polygons, the distance around our objects are, is called the perimeter. So think of circumference almost like perimeter, but for a, specifically for a circle. And then area will be the space inside. Okay. Area is a space in, taken up uh, inside the circle. So um, there is a famous number which is called pi. It's uh, written this Greek letter here, pi. It's pronounced pi, P-I. Uh, and that is the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter or um the diameter is also twice the radius, right? So take any circle, find the distance around it, divide by the distance across it, and what you get is always this constant pi. Pi has infinitely many digits after the decimal point, um, and it can't even be written as a fraction. It's called a, a irrational number. Um, and it's approximated by 3.14. If you plug pi into your calculator, you'll get more digits than that. 3.14159265. It goes on and on forever and ever. Um, and but for most applications, it's it's enough to just have two digits after the decimal point to um, to approximate things. Okay, so if you look at this, circumference divided by twice the radius is equal to pi. Multiply both sides by twice the radius, and what you get is 2 times r, which is the diameter, times pi is equal to the circumference, c. And also, to find the... Uh, area or the space taken up in the interior of the circle. Area is equal to, normally for a square it'd be like the side times the side. Think like if you had a square here with side length r, it would be r times r or r squared. For a circle, the area is pi times r squared or pi times r times r. Okay, so these are our two formulas that we'll use. Let's just do one example where we calculate circumference and area, and we need to make sure that we understand the units as well. So let's find the diameter, circumference, and area of a circle that has radius 2.5 inches. So here's my circle. My radius here is 2.5 inches. So R equals 2.5 inches. The diameter is all the way across. So it'll be 2.5 plus 2.5. So it's two groups of 2.5. So 2.5 times 2, I could do that on the side of my paper here. 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 2 plus 1 is 5 and one place after the decimal, so it'll be five. Okay, now, what units do I use? For my radius, the units were in inches. So that's a one-dimensional, like just think one length. And then for the diameter, 
it's still one dimensional. My units are going to be the same. So I'm talking about inches here still. Now circumference. Will be two times uh, R times pi. Two times R, I already calculated, that's five times pi. I'll use the approximation 3.14 for pi. So let's do that on the side of my paper here 3.14 times five. Five times four is 20. 5 times 1 plus 2 is 7, and then 5 times 3 is 15. Two places after the decimal here, so two places after the decimal there. So we get 15.7. All right, now what units am I going to use? Um, I'm still talking about distance, distance around. This is the circumference, right? And the only units that I had here were for R, right? 2 times pi times r, this would have been inches. So all of this is in inches. So the circumference, the distance, one dimensional type of measurement will just be inches. Now let's talk about the area. The area will be pi times r squared. Pi, I'll use 3.14. And r, remember, was 2.5 inches. 2.5 inches squared. So remember what that means. I've got 3.14 times, and I'm going to write out my units. You don't have to do this every time. 2.5 inches times 2.5 inches. So the units of measurement here, by writing all this out, I wanted to sort of explain when you do inches times inches, what you the units that you get an inch is a length, right? From here to here is one length. When you're talking about how many, what types of units fill up your space, you need a two-dimensional type of unit. And the unit that we're going to be dealing with, if this is one inch, the units that we're going to be dealing with is a little square that's one inch by one inch. So that's called a square inch. And whenever you're doing these things with units, you can double check that by putting the units into all your calculations. Inches times inches would be square inches. So I'm going to have 3.14 times 2.5 squared, or 2.5 times 2.5. And my units will be inches squared. All right, let's do all my calculations here. First, I'll do, um, I'll, I'll do the square first, the 2.5 times itself. 2.5 times 2.5, 5 times 5 is 25, 5 times 2 is 10 plus 2 is 12. I'll move on to the 2, so I'll put in a 0 placeholder. 2 times 5 is 10, 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5. Adding, I get 625. Notice I have one place here, one place after the decimal here. So in total, I'll have two places after the decimal. So this will be 3.14 times 6.25 inches squared. So let's do that calculation. 6.25 times 3.14. 4 times 5 is 20. 8 plus 2 is 10. 24 plus 1 is 25. Let's move on to the 1 in the tens place. I'll put down my 0 placeholder. 1 times 5. 1 times 2, 1 times 6, right? Now let's move on to the 3. So it's 3 places over. So I'll put in 2 placeholders. 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. And 3 times 6 is 18. Now let's add up all these figures. 5, so I get 0, 5, 12. And 3 plus 6 is 9, plus 7 is 16, 8 plus 1 is 9, bring down the 1. Okay, so now let's double check how many places should I have in my, in my decimal number. Two places here, two places there. So in total, 1, 2, 3, 4 places after the decimal point. So the area of my circle should be 19 
and 625,000 uh, inches squared. So your uh, diameter is 5 inches, circumference 15.7, and area 19.61 inches squared.